Oh, hey y'all, how's it going? Fatty here, and thanks for joining me on the channel that hasn't got any sleep in the past two days. And today I'm bringing the top five rat holes for the purple zone on Genesis 2, and let's not waste any more of your time and jump straight into it. Coming in number five, this one's gonna be located at 73.6, 35.6. Now this one is gonna be really nice. It's located next to this waterfall, which I always really like. And this one is gonna be definitely one of the most tricky rat holes there are. So you have to come over to this ledge and then tucked up right up in here is this nice little bit. Now there is some water back here, so it's not completely, it's not just completely open back here. So you do have to watch about that. Um, but there's plenty of space to build in here, definitely enough to get you started and really hard to get up in here. So if you build this right, it's going to be a pristine spot. Now, I did find this one on Next Level Prestige. He's a smaller YouTuber. He only has like 76 subscribers right now. So I'm going to post a link down in his uh, in the description down below. So definitely go check out his video and send that guy some love as well. And let's jump on to the next few spots. Coming in at number four, this one's going to be located at 16.4, 39.4, and it's going to be at the very top right-hand portion of the purple zone. Now, this one is really nice. This one's really nice. It's a little bit smaller than some of the other ones, but it's also tucked back here big ways. You know, it's at the very edge of the map. There's no real resources or anything like that, so there's no real reason for somebody to come back here. So if you're just looking to get started and just need that little solo spot, maybe, or a place of prefabricated base, this is probably going to be one of the better spots to do so. Coming in at number three, this one's going to be located at 16.3, 41.0. Now this one's definitely going to be the probably smallest one on the list, but it's also really probably one of the least noticeable ones on the list. So it's tucked in right in this corner and you have to kind of drop down and then in this little nook and cranny, there's going to be enough spot to just like, again, prefabricate a base, be a solo player and be able to kind of just get started and whatnot. But it's just really out of the way. Nothing's going to be able to really see you here. And again, not a ton of resources, super duper close. That's going to bring a ton of people by, but there is going to be enough stuff to help you get started. Coming in at number two, this one's going to be located at 24.6, 42.1. Now this one and the next one are kind of two of my favorite spots so far I've seen even on the entire Genesis 2. Now this one is kind of a rat hole, but it's also pretty big. It's decent for its size. So you have this first little opening area, which is where you're probably going to want to put at least some of your first starting turrets to help just kind of keep people away from this area. But then you also do have this kind of crouch awkward point. So like right in here. It's not a full crouch. I mean, you can, you could rocket run it, right? So it's not that a full, full crouch, but you can get carbs in here. You won't get past stagos anywhere near here. So it's going to be a pretty nice base spot. There's a definitely enough room to really do, do a pretty much a lot of work. You can do more than just prefabricated base here, but yeah, it's not going to be, you know, an alpha spot or anything like that. But again, these are the, all the rat holes for this video. So yeah, let's move on to that very last spot. Coming in at that number one spot, this one's gonna be located at 25.2, 35.6. Now this is gonna be located above this waterfall and there's just a lot of nice flat, flat spots here that are pretty big. You know, you have this whole ledge down here that I wouldn't necessarily wanna build on right away. Um, this is gonna be the main way people are gonna try to attack you. They're gonna try to fob up somewhere around here and walk up, but you can also really easily get started. You can put some chandeliers, this whole top part here will block a lot of people from trying to get in you have some metal down there and then especially when you first get started you can put a couple foundations in here and no one's going to really see anything uh, but the really main spot the reason why i like this spot is there isn't a lot of information yet Ooh, what's this and a tiny little spot to hide something. No, um, there is not a lot of information yet about where to get some of this farming and I have a video coming out on that later today, but there is that middle section of the, the map between the two biomes that has a majority of the really hard resources to get. And this is gonna be one of the fastest paths if you have like a base spot that's not like in one of these hallways, but you can lock that one down and then you're really not too far to get into here for all those unique resource farming, like black pearls, oils, silicate, there's just a lot. We'll get into it, and like I said, in a video that's coming out later today, but this is gonna be a huge spot for farming resources. So you're gonna wanna be close to this area if you're really gonna take Genesis seriously and try to build up fast. So you're gonna want like a farming base at very least that's gonna be right there. So if you have a good, really good rat hole, then you can put just a farming base over here, or if you have a really good base spot and you just wanna be a little bit closer, that's a great place to put it like a teleporter or something like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any more tips, tricks, or tutorials that you guys want to head your way, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.